Hi all, this video is to show you how to open a photo in Photoshop that I give to you through Google Classroom, how to set up your Photoshop workspace, and how to do some basic edits in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Chrome, I'm going to go to my Classroom site. You guys should have this bookmarked already. In small class assignments in your Classroom site, you should see a link to Intro to Photoshop assignment that's due tomorrow. You're going to click on that. I've attached an image to it called Water Drops. It's a JPEG image. Click on that. It will open up and to download this you need to open it up in a new window so in the upper right hand corner you have some options printing more actions click on more actions go to open a new window from here you have some more options I'm going to download it to my desktop so I'm going to click the download arrow it's going to ask me where I want to put it I'm going to put my name on it first Desktop, JPEG image, hit save. Okay, should end up on my desktop. From there, I'm going to X out of these boxes or just minus them because I don't need them right now. And I'm going to take that image and drag it into my Photoshop. All right, so from here, I'm going to take the image from the desktop. It's got my name on it and everything. I'm going to take it and drag it over my Photoshop icon in my dock. Photoshop will bounce around and it will open. All right, from here we're going to set up the desktop or set up the workspace for your Photoshop. So there's like five important things that you guys need. You need a toolbar, which is over here. You need your layers palette, a history palette, adjustments, and properties. Right now you probably have like color layers and all sorts of things happening around here. So these are just the five things that you guys need. If you do not see your toolbar over here, go up to Window. And this is where you'll find all the things you want to put inside your, of your window. So if you don't have tools selected down here, that'll make your tools go away. Window, tools on, window, tools off. We always need our tools, so make sure that the tools is checked. All right. You can change your tools so that they are in double rows, or you can change them so that they are in single rows by pressing this double arrow. Um, I like to work with them in double rows because I think it's easier to find things. So again, up to you, but double is good. I also like to move them a little bit closer to my image. Otherwise, they're way over here. So I can take that box and I can move it around. All right. Um, next most important thing you need is a layers palette. You need a history palette. You need an adjustments palette and a properties palette. Okay. A properties and adjustments I usually just have in the same palette. So see how I can hover over? I can add my properties and adjustments together. They kind of worked hand in hand, okay? Layers I keep separate. History I keep kind of small up in the corner. Um, layers is going to be the most important thing that you guys see, okay? If you don't have these, go up to Window. Notice I have check marks on all of the layers that I have visible. I have adjustments visible. I have history visible. I have layers visible. And if I clicked on properties, it would probably just highlight it, right? So adjustments and properties are selected, okay? If you need to turn something off or on, go to Window, check it on. Go to Window, check it off. Window on, window off, okay? Um, so these are the things that you need to have open at all times in Photoshop. You can close out of tabs that are open by clicking on that like row of lines right here and saying close tab group, all right, and it will get rid of it. Or you can go up to window and you can say close from here because it's probably checked. Okay, 